What's up everyone? Welcome to Teacher Chaihan's Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about properties of addition. By the end of this course, you should know how to add 0 to any numbers, add 2 numbers in any order, add 3 numbers by grouping them in any order. There are 3 main properties of addition. Identity property of addition, commutative property of addition, and associative property of addition. Now, let us identify the three properties of addition. First, identity property of addition. The identity property of addition says that the sum of zero and any number is always equal to the number itself. Here's an example. Observe the following. 8 plus 0 is equals to 8. Very good. And 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. Alright. Now, what do you notice? So, when we add 0 to any number, the sum is equal to the number itself. And that is identity property of addition. Look at another example. In set A, there is no flowers. And in set B, there are 7 flowers. Now, how many flowers we have all together? When you add 0 to any number, the sum is equal to the number itself. So, we can write this as 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. And that is identity property. Next is commutative property of addition. The commutative property of addition says that changing the order of addends does not change the sum. Here is an example. Look at the picture. There are four flowers in the first box and two flowers in the second box. To find the sum, we can write the mathematical sentence as 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Or, 2 plus 4 is equals to 6. Notice that the sum are the same. This illustrates that commutative property of addition, changing the addends does not change the sum. Another example. We have 3 cherries and 6 cherries. So, we can write this as 3 plus 6 is equals to 9. Very good. Or, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 also. And this illustrates the commutative property. So, changing the order does not change the sum. Lastly, associative property of addition. The associative property of addition says that changing the grouping of the addends does not change the sum. Add 2 plus 3 plus 5. So we have 2 green balls, 3 yellow balls, and 5 blue balls. Now, how many balls in total? To add these 3 numbers together, we just combine all the balls and count. So, let us count the number of balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 balls. Now, using the properties of addition, we can add this by adding two numbers at a time. First, let's add 2 plus 3. So we show this by grouping using the parentheses. So we have 2 plus 3. Then copy the 5. Now, add 2 plus 3 equals to 5. Then write 5 again. And we have 5 plus 5 is equals to 10. Now let's do this second time. And let's group 3 plus 5. So first copy the 2. And again surround with parentheses the 3 and 5. So 3 and 5 is equals to 
8 and copy the 2. So, 2 plus 8 is equals to 10. So, we get the same answer. Now, this is the associative property of addition. Changing the group does not change the sum. Alright, so let us practice. What properties of addition show in this problem? Here is the problem. 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. Alright, so this is a identity property of addition. Very good. Next, identify what properties of addition shown in this problem. Alright, so this is an associative property of addition. Next, what kind of properties of addition shown in this problem? Alright, so this is a commutative property of addition. Remember, the identity property of addition is also called as zero property of addition. Commutative property of addition also called order property of addition. And associative property of addition also called as grouping property of addition. Alright, so that's all for today. Have a nice day. Goodbye children.